today we are going to be talking about the dysfunction the human dysfunction which is called jealousy so in order to do this i'm just going to um, put two scenarios in front of you so the first scenario is um, a child who is five years old is playing with another child who is also around five or six years old and they um, get into a tiff over a toy so the adult in the environment uh, tells them uh, to share and um, one of the children decide to uh, let the other one share there was one that did not want to share and wanted to have the toy all to themselves so the parent or the adult in the environment says to the child who gave the toy you are so good look how well she shared um, this child is good because she, she she or he shared so this is one scenario let's take another another scenario where you have a little older child they go to school they had their test and they come back with their grades and they say look um, mom i got 70 percent what was the highest what did your friends get so these are two scenarios which i want you to keep in mind while we are talking about the dysfunction jealousy i am sure that we have either experienced witnessed or been a part played a role in one of such scenarios and like all human dysfunctions the root or the origin of the dysfunction of jealousy starts in childhood and this is how it starts with these um, uh, experiences these incidents that i just shared with you these are small ways that we instill this feeling of jealousy in our children and let's see how that happens now if you go back to my scenario one where the child was made to uh, understand that they were not good because they didn't share or the second one where the grades of that child would be important based on what else somebody else got so in all these cases we are trying to show the person that the, they are not good enough or we are trying to show that someone has it better or we are trying to show someone has more or we don't they do if then mentality that means if i share then i get the love if i get the highest then i am worth it so this these are some things that we are messages that we are sending that makes them live in a constant state of comparison and then we have the higher and the lower so let us see this higher and the lower through this example this ladder you can see has people climbing it so if i am this person in red here then i'm going to be looking at the person on top and feeling lesser than lower i'm going to be looking at the person on the bottom and feeling higher than better than superior right so this is how we are living and this is what is the cause of jealousy and this ladder that we are talking about is a never ending circular ladder why because you see there is always somebody higher than us and there is always somebody lower than us all these things that we put into our children we program them in a way of saying you're not good enough someone has it better we don't they do all these things are creating something called holes this holes keeps us in a feeling of lesser than and lack we are in a state of insecurity we don't feel stable in who we are because we've constantly been told that something else is better these are the holes that we are living with so the way to come out of this dysfunction is to heal these holes and make it one that is whole heal the holes to become whole 
and when you become whole you become that that you were before the programming happened and that's the whole that you become now how do you do it in real life you need to step off this ladder as long as you are on this ladder you always have somebody above somebody below and we are going in this circle so you need to step off this ladder and shine your own radiant light only because that is what you are meant to do and be not comparing it with any other so when you are shining your own radiant light i want to bring in some children because i think that's where we really need to work on this uh, dysfunction in not programming them which they are already whole but we um try to create the holes in them so when you jump off this ladder and you drop the comparison and you be yourself that is when we are healing this dysfunction of jealousy then when you become whole what happens is you live in a state of abundance you live in a state of i am enough understanding that this jealousy is here because of the holes that are in my life so how can i heal these holes and one of the ways to heal the holes is through meditation it's all again getting connected to oneself and seeing where am i am i in a state of lack or am i in a state of abundance and when you start seeing this for yourself and you jump off the ladder and you're just so beautifully shining your radiant light then that is the uh, place where there exists no jealousy but just an expression of the magnificent being that you and i are as you live your life notice see where jealousy arises in your body it is going to arise we can uh, move forward through life being aware of when the jealousy is arising usually the jealousy arises in the heart because it's the lack of self love so you may feel a tightness in your chest a tightness in your throat when somebody tells you hey i got this awesome job as soon as you hear that what happens is there a kind of an abundance where i'm so happy for you or is there oh i wish i had it why is not happening for me so this is the place that we are going to watch and when you feel oh i am in a state of why is it not for me of course why not that is the isness for your present moment you are in jealousy first step is to accept that yes i am feeling jealous but now instead of putting this out on the other uh by criticizing by uh, reacting and stuff like that and be in a state of constant suffering why not me why is it not me why don't i have it why am i lesser than you're going to sit with this and you're going to breathe and you're going to see deconstruct where is this coming from why am i not feeling uh, love and happiness for this person so when i start questioning through this process of sitting maybe i realize that there is a certain amount of lack of self love lack of self acceptance those are the holes you know so the moment you sit there and you heal these holes you will see that you feel whole your heart is full of love so much that you can give it to everyone and you're living in a state of abundance so thank you for joining me and i will see you again with a new human dysfunction until then spread love thank you and bye bye